everybody. My name is Zohir Chaudhary, and today we'll talk about I equal to PAT model as it applies to population and health. So there are always limits to population growth in nature. Populations cannot grow exponentially indefinitely. Exploding population always reach a size limit imposed by the shortage of one or more factors such as water, space, and nutrients, or by adverse conditions such as disease, drought, and temperature extremes, the factors which act jointly to limit a population's uh, uh, growth are termed the environmental resistance. The interplay of biotic potential and density-dependent environmental resistance keeps a population in balance. For a given region, carrying capacity is the maximum number of individuals of a given species that an area's resources can sustain indefinitely without significantly depleting or degrading those resources. Determining the carrying capacity for most organisms is fairly straightforward. For humans carrying capacity, it's much more complicated. And we'll have some examples later on. For population, um, which grow exponentially, uh, growth starts out slowly. Then enters a rapid growth phase. And then levels off when the carrying capacity for the species has been reached. The size of the population then fluctuates slightly above or below the carrying, the carrying capacity. Reproductive lag time may cause the population to overshoot the carrying capacity temporarily. Reproductive lag time is the time required for the birth rate to decline and the death rate to increase in response to resource limits. In this scenario, the population will suffer a crash or dieback as shown in here. An, area, an area's carrying capacity is not static. The carrying capacity may be lowered by resource destruction and degradation during an overshoot period or extended through technological and social changes. An example of dieback occurred in Ireland after a fungus infection destroyed the potato crop in 1845. During this potato famine, approximately 1 million people died and 3 million people emigrated to other countries. Increased food production due to improved agricultural practices, control of many diseases by modern medicine, and the use of energy to make historically uninhabitable areas of earth inhabitable um, are examples of things which can extend carrying capacity. The question is how long will we be able to keep increasing our population on a planet with finite, finite size and resources. As we move to the next slide, in here we'll learn about I equal to PAT model, which is the main highlight of uh, this presentation. This equation, uh, in this equation we can see uh, I, which stands for human impact on the environment. This I is equal to P population, A affluence, which also is expressed as consumption per capita, and T technology, which is the environmental impact per unit of consumption. In the I P equal to, T, in the I P equal to PAT equation, the variables P represents the population of an area, such as, for example, the world, or in the city of San Diego or in the state of California or in the entire country United States. Since the rise of industrial societies, human population has been increasingly increasing exponentially and as a result total environmental impact has also been increasing. The variable A in the I equal to PAT equation stands for affluence. It represents the average consumption of each person in the population. As the consumption of each person increases, the total environmental impact increases as well. The variable T in the I equal to PAT equation represents how resource intensive the production of affluence is, how much environmental impact is involved in creating, transporting, and disposing of the goods, services, and amenities used. 
dinoid of t is often tailored for the situation i equal to pt is being applied to for example for a situation where the human impact on climate change is being measured an appropriate unit for t might be greenhouse gas emissions per unit of gdp so let's start quickly doing some quick concept check the maximum number of individuals that a particular habitat can support is called carrying capacity true or false true very good so let's look at some uh, examples of carrying capacity so by looking in this graph can you tell me what is the population of the deer at the carrying capacity of the environment yes it's D because you can look in here it's overshooting and it's going up high and it's slowly balancing at the carrying capacity and that is around 70 another concept check which graph represents the maximum carrying capacity of a bacterial colony that's correct it's the one in here this is not showing a carrying capacity this is growing linearly this is decreasing linearly this is growing exponentially so we don't know where the carrying capacity is whereas in here we can see that it is overshoot then it's there's a dieback and here is the carrying capacity somewhere around here now how have humans been able to raise the environment's carrying capacity for our species yes it's a through technology through technological innovation so a related question do you think humans are subject to limiting factors and ultimately a fixed carrying capacity if you believe so yes although we have raised the carrying capacity there are limits to the number of humans that earth can support so in this is saying that there may be limits b yes but technology will keep raising the carrying capacity so it's not much of a problem c is no humans are no longer constrained by the environmental limits due to our technology and ability to manipulate the environment and d i don't care it really does not affect me so definitely c is not the answer uh, humans um, we are seeing a lot of issues out there and we definitely do not have an un un unlimited carrying capacity the resources are limited in the world so between a and b we are seeing that technology definitely has been able to uh, increase our carrying capacity. By, by far, uh, we are seeing that the carrying capacity, even though we can increase it, there is a certain limit of humans that the Earth can support. The resources are limited. So the answer is probably A. All right. Thank